What's up, YouTube? So, we're going to continue on with our The Adventures of Harry Bomb. Let's play of Hogwarts Legacy. Uh, I'm going to do something a little different today, though. Um, I pushed out a video not too long ago showing how to go into true full screen, so we're actually going to test that out. So, I actually lowered the resolution on here to... 1280 by 720 just to see how it plays alright so we last left off homegirl took us to the room so we had to go find the common room is there anything worth looking at in here probably not I wonder if I could go into this though that I imagine the common room will be downstairs. I really should be hotkeying my stuff. Oh, I definitely don't want to go in here. Guess I will go. Now, which way is the common room? That's what I'm trying to figure out, homie. Which way is the common room? All right. Level lock. Whatever. Must be different starting Hogwarts in your fifth year. There yeah, y'all gossip. I got things to do. It's that new fifth year. I so lucky they didn't end up as dragon food, like that poor man from the ministry. Can't imagine starting a new school this late. A little room, everyone. I hope the professor catches her this time. Get down. Professor could arrive any moment. Oh, what did I do wrong this time? What's up, homegirl? I don't know what I'm doing wrong. It's not a complicated spell. I should be able to do it non verbally. Why is this not working? Ugh! Oh, hello there. Welcome to Gryffindor. I'm Cressida. Pleasure to meet you, Cressida. Splendidly theatrical arrival to the sorting ceremony last evening. Made it in by the skin of your teeth. Is it true that you're Professor Fig's protege? Yeah, I studied with him, you know, I'm the Mac. I'm not sure I'd say that, but I did a study with him a little before we arrived. Blast! I was hoping he might have given you some advice on non-verbal casting. Is that what you were trying to do just there? Oh, yes. Having a spot of trouble. I've mastered the charm using its incantation, but this is proving a bit trickier. Don't worry. We'll get it in the end. Oh, I hope so. If I can get it, Professor Ronan's sure to be very impressed. I'm just going to keep at it. Look, a heart is cast noble spells. Can you can cast students? Can most um <clears throat> I can't even read this morning. Can most students cast no? Whatever. I wish you luck. We're done. Well, good luck with it. It was nice to meet you, Cressida. You as well. Enjoy your first day. I ain't trying to talk that much. Nelly will do anything for attention. Nelly, please get down. Shame you were born with could wings. Any moment. I'm sure you've used them. <laughs> It'll be the next butterbeer. So, homie. Sure, you don't want to try it? Brewed it myself. Hello. You're the new fifth year. Pleased to meet you. I'm Gareth Weasley. Heard about your travels here. Can't believe it. Glad you and Fig are all right. Is it true that someone from the Ministry was with you in the carriage? Oh, uh, yes. A friend of Professor Fig's. Oh, didn't mean to pry. Nasty business, dragons. Again, very glad you're here. 
Thank you, Gareth. So am I. Are you related to Professor Weasley? I am. She's my aunt. Yeah, that's nice. Must be nice having an aunt for a professor. You'd think so, wouldn't you? Aunt Matilda tends to treat me as if I'm a first year. Keeps too close an eye on me. It's all a bit suffocating, to be honest. Still, she means well. And she's an incredibly powerful witch. She'll have your back. Yeah, good talk. Well, it was nice meeting you, Gareth, and thank you for the insights on your aunt. Pleasure to meet you as well. Good luck today. Okay. Oh, you just way up there, ain't you? Like you ain't got nothing she better to do. If I get caught, I should never hope a anything professor for catches real. at this time. <laughs> Why is everyone so highly strung? It's perfectly safe. <laughs> Well, hello. Don't mind me. I find it helpful to change my point of view now and again. Put things in perspective. Once I made it to the top of Gryffindor Tower, from the outside, without a broom. Goodness. <laughs> I'm Nelly, by the way. Nelly Ogspire. I've heard rumors about what happened to you on your way to Hogwarts. Is it true about the dragon? Is it true that your nickname is Crazy Pants? Yes, our carriage was attacked by a dragon. Crikey, I can't believe it. How thrilling. And also terrifying. Anyway, you've certainly brought some much needed excitement to Gryffindor. And Hogwarts for that matter. All right, well, nice to meet you, Crazy Pants. I got a thing. I'm sure I'll be seeing you around, either in our common room or when you scale your next tower. <laughs> you never know. Bye for now. New Gryffindor, Professor Weasley's waiting for you outside the common room. Oh, goody on him. Am I supposed to go in here? I guess so. Well, I love how it just opens Good doors. I trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts? I've been dreaming of this day for a long time. I guess I'm here. here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. I keep you only have one check. first day at Hogwarts. Now, in light of your unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. OWLs? Owls. Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. After much discussion with the headmaster and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, we've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. Oh, Lord. Here you are. A book of flying pages. What is it? It well, is a wizard's you. field guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. You would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. All right, I'm a bit mad. But what do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? Perhaps seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Walk with me and we shall put it to the test. I want to go exploring. This way. Y'all are talking too much. The guide will give you opportunities to practice your magic and educate yourself about wizarding law.
I certainly would have appreciated something like the field guide when I was a student. Uh -huh. Using the guide will also train you to be alert to your surroundings. Do yeah, keep up. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ah, the guide appears to have some information for you about that painting of poor Barufio. Oh, poor Simply Barufio. cast Revelio on it, and we'll see what the guide says. Revelio. All right, then. Portrait of Buffalo. Buffalo Butt, aka Buffalo Butt. So this portrait depicts the wizard Buffalo Butt, famed for his brain elixir as an example of what happens when incantations are improperly spoken. He once said S instead of F and found himself on the floor with a buffalo butt on his chest. Okay, thank you so very much. You've just unlocked a field guide challenge. Please blah blah blah. I think I'm whatever. So it's I eating. Alright, so <laughs> this is your wizard level XP earned from challenges to increase your level and power. Alright. I guess I'm still in a tutorial phase, so yay me. Okay, so I just like there we go. Alright, so I guess I will click you. But I hope I did it right. Whatever. So we have Clever, completed the Buffalo Butt Challenge. Keep your eyes open for more opportunities like mm -hmm. that, inside mm -hmm. and outside of the castle. Yes, I'm really looking forward to Buffalo Butt Challenges. Thank you so much, fam. This is an awesome school that you guys have me going no to No time here. to waste. You've classes to attend. Maybe there's stuff. No stuff. <sighs> Play in a game to go to school. This really sucks. Ah, good timing. Perfect opportunity to show you how to use flu flames to get around a bit quicker. Your field guide contains a map of the castle. Open it up and find Central Hall. Sure. The Central Hall. Select South Wing region, blah blah, to continue. So, are you the South Wing? Apparently, you are. In this, you you can see Fu Flames, Kung Flu Fighter Flames, available in that region. The green Kung Fu Fighter Flames represent flames you have discovered, including your own house. Common room, gray foo flames, kung fu fighter flames, reveal the location of undiscovered flame. Okay, you know what? I don't care. Click the right side of the map, you'll find academic points of interest, including strong entire library. Yeah, I don't care. I want to go get the stuff. Select library, annex region to continue. Oh, really? I okay. So Professor Weasley has unlocked the Central Hall Fu Kung Fu Fighter Flames for you. Use A D to rotate the map and fast travel Central Hall. Okay, okay, so we'll rotate the map. There we go. There you go. There we go. We 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 have rotated the map. 
Now push. Okay, so I push the thing. This is what happens when you don't read the directions very clearly. Am I supposed to come back out of this? This is what I'm supposed to use AD to rotate the map and fast travel to the central hall through flames with. So am I supposed to click on the freaking? There we go. Yeah, I guess we're supposed to click on it. And here we are, quite the time saver. These stairs lead directly to Central Hall. You can get almost <clears throat> anywhere in the castle quickly from Central Hall. Yeah, I really appreciate this grand tour and everything, but how about giving always me a broom something and let me fly here. around? It's the heart of the hive, our King's Cross Station, so to speak. Uh. That should be all for now. You'll be expected to attend both Charms and Defense Against the Dark Arts classes today. And I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. All right, thank you, Professor. Thank you, Professor Weasley. A lot to absorb on your first day, and you have much to learn. Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside of class. You'll be up to speed in no time. Judging by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. He did, Professor. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what happened after that awful dragon attack. My suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. We did take a bit of a detour on the way here. Ended up exploring some ruins and... I shouldn't say more. Exploring ruins? Well, I presume Professor Fig has his reasons for keeping the details to himself for now. Speak of the devil, Professor Fig. Your ears must have been burning. Oh? Yes. You seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah, I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare aptitude for magic, it seems. Hmm. Well, I'm just glad you both arrived in one piece. Perfectly good boats and carriages to Hogwarts, and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon. I wouldn't say I chose the dragon's path, Professor. Rather unfortunately, it would seem that it chose us. Very well. Enough chit-chat. I need to get to class myself. Might I rely on you, Professor Fig, to explain the details of the field guide's map? Of course. Thank you. I'm thinking I probably shouldn't have told her we good were at the Good luck today. And remember to use your field guide. It will be invaluable to you. And invaluable to me, as I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. Yes, Professor. Come and find me in my classroom after you've attended both classes today, and I'll explain more about those assignments I mentioned. And we'll see if we can't get you to Hogsmeade for those supplies. I'm wondering if we can skip class today. Go skateboarding. What's up, Professor Fig? Let's say you and me blow this popsicle stand or whatever. You know, let's get out of this joint and go find something cool to do. What say you? It's good to see you, Professor. And you. I was hoping our paths would cross today before you immersed yourself in studies. Did I hear you and Professor Weasley talking about... Exploring ruins. Uh, 
Uh, yeah, I would definitely go on and own up to it so he ain't side blinded. I hope I didn't say too much because I was stupid. She oh. caught me off guard. I didn't tell her anything else about our travels here. I will say, I think she suspects we're not being entirely forthcoming. Yes, well, Professor Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch. It was right to keep the details to yourself for now. We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. It may require a bit more flexibility with your time than she would approve of. And she may feel obliged to share details with the headmaster that would be better left between us. Understood, Professor. Good. Now, as capable as you are, I believe the ability you possess obliges you to be well-trained. Happily, you have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of witches and wizards to guide you. Speaking of guides, and so that I may avoid another not-so-subtle reproof from Professor Weasley, why don't I show you the clever enchantment we included in the field guides map? Unfold it and have a look. Open the map. This main complete main quest will further the story unlock new features and grant XP. Okay. I want to get off to the goof off section of the game. I wonder how long that's going to take to get there. The map is enchanted to help you find your way. This will be incredibly helpful. Thank you. Now, sounds like you've quite a day ahead, what with classes and a trip to Hogsmeade for supplies, including your own wand. You'll enjoy Mr. Ollivander. He's an exceptional craftsman and a good friend. I shall reach out when I have more information about our mysterious locket. For now, focus on your classes and pay attention. More than your owls may hinge on the magic you are able to master within these walls. Ten defense against Lark. Arch class. We're misty out here. Let's <laughs> begin. you'd be good enough to blast each other to pieces on your own time. I get new students every year, but I only have one Hebridean black skull. It was a token from the great poacher raid of 1878. No doubt you've heard of it. Now, you may be asking yourself how an old woman like me single-handedly took out the largest poacher ring in Eastern Wales and lived to boast about it. Knowledge. To the wise, age matters very little. 
Today we will review a spell that has saved me from death at the hands of dark wizards more times than I care to remember. Levioso. Levioso? A levitation charm? Levioso! A surprised opponent is a weak opponent. Care to defend yourself, Master Pruitt? No? One thing I've learned as an unspeakable is the value of simplicity, especially in the heat of battle. Now, let's practice what we've just learned, starting with something small. Let's see if I remember how to do this. Here we go. Levioso. Now, let's try something a little larger. Let us begin with the basic cast. See how the dummy deflected your cast? This time, cast Levioso first, then the basic cast. Remember, a surprised opponent is a weak opponent, as Master Pruitt so artfully helped me demonstrate earlier. Levioso. Good. Now, well done. Probably Very good. good. Bird, tell me but it. the best way to practice is by dueling. We'll start with you two. Duelist, take your marks. Time for a proper Hogwarts welcome. Now, <laughs> I want a fair duel using only Levioso, basic cast, and Protego. You may begin. Levioso. <laughs> lucky. Nothing lucky about it. Good form. I know. Levioso. A perfectly executed Levioso. Not bad for a beginner. You give as good as you get. <laughs> you didn't even have time to give, though. I put you on the spot, and you rose to the challenge. Points to Gryffindor. Thank you, Professor Hackett. Glad to have the opportunity to practice. If what I've seen today is any indication, we can expect great things from you. I demand excellence from my students. They are capable of achieving it, and they must achieve it. A classroom duel is one thing, but battling dark wizards, or as ever more likely, goblins, is a different kettle of Grindelows entirely. Understood, Professor. So, I'd advise you to keep practicing whenever you can. Perhaps Mr. Sallow will have some ideas for you. Again, well done today. I shall reach out soon with additional assignments. All right. That's enough spectacle for one day. <coughs> Class is dismissed. If you know the right spells, it's dark wizards that'll fear you, not the other way around. Huh. Always thought Levioso was for first years. Not anymore. Nice work. I enjoyed that. Well, that duel was quite something. Everyone will be talking about it. It was certainly good practice. Practice? It felt more like I was dueling an expert. Sebastian Sallow, by the way. Didn't expect a new student to be so deft with a wand. Then again, perhaps this wasn't your first duel. I've dueled enough. Consider yourself lucky I held back. Huh. Fair enough. You owe me an honest duel when you aren't. You know, 
you might be a perfect fit for a certain exclusive, unsanctioned dueling organization. Exclusive and unsanctioned? Count me in. Excellent. Knew I was right about you. If you want to get the most out of your time at Hogwarts, you're going to need to break the rules now and then. Whether it's joining a secret dueling club, or sneaking into the restricted section of the library, you just have to be clever enough not to get caught. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll keep that in mind. Good. Pleasure chatting with you. I'm sure I'll see you soon. Perhaps somewhere unsanctioned? We'll see if your performance today was sheer luck or actual skill. Look for Luke and Brattleby near the clock tower entrance. If you're interested. Till next time. All right. We got places to be now. Let's get out of here. Show is a lot of walking. Professor Ronan tends to go on a bit. We sometimes have to remind him. Begin. Here, behind you, there is an open seat here. Thank you. Hello. I am Nettie. So you are the new student. Have you met Professor Ronan yet? <clears throat> Shall we begin? <laughs> Welcome to year five of charms. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of charm work, but I am confident that we will take hold with a passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. Right? Now, everyone, please open your textbooks to page 517. But before we begin, can anyone here tell me the difference between the incantations of the color change and growth charms? Anyone? Anyone? Hmm? Ah, 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 ah. I am afraid it is too late to study now. Hmm. My, the summer months must have really taken a toll on you all. <laughs> By the looks of it, you all spent your holidays practicing Obliviate on one another. <laughs> uh, hmm. Do you even remember how to perform a basic summoning charm? Hmm? Hmm. Well, it seems that we are in dire need of review. Everyone get into pairs and take positions on opposite sides of the classroom. Now let's put those textbooks to use as the blunt objects you so believe they are and take turns summoning them out of one another's hands. Only one book will be needed per partnership, Miss Dale. Thank you. Get into place now. Ah, this again. So fun. There we go. Akio! That is not bad. You are a swift learner. I see a lot of potential, but remember, potential is nothing without practice. Keep at it. You might just rival Miss Onai here. Very good, everyone. That's enough of that. Well, as you all seem to have the basics down, and it is an exceptionally lovely day, I was thinking that we might have ourselves a little excursion outside for a spot of fresh air. After me! 
That's what I'm talking about. Get out of this old boring glass. Kind of anxious to get to the actual open world part where I can actually stress test and see how well the game actually plays. <sighs> I've always found that fun goes hand in hand with mastery, as I'm sure the Quidditch players amongst us would agree. Hmm? <laughs> so, what better than a bit of sport to put our prowess with the summoning charm to the test, right? <laughs> <laughs> so why don't we have our newest students start us off? Hmm? Very simply, cast Accio on one of the spheres and relinquish your charm at the last possible moment. Now, uh, think of this like gobstones, if you will. But instead of throwing the marbles out, you are summoning them toward you. The trick is to pull the sphere as far as possible, but not a bit more, or it'll fall, yes? Now, I could keep talking about theory all day, but practice is the best, Professor. Show us how it's done. Akio. Excellent. Good. Stay focused. Very good. Don't lose your composure. That's it. I guess. Very good. Points to Gryffindor. But there's certainly no sport in playing without some friendly competition. Miss Onai, would you care to give our new student a bit of a challenge? Come on up. You'll be the Blues, just as before, and Miss Onai, you are playing red. Clear? Yes, sir. All right, let's see if I figured this out. Let us see this. Oh. There we go. Oh, yeah. Akio. Hey. Splendid. You would Two could play that game. Oh. Yes. Oh, it's like that. Okay, I got something for you. you think you tough. You think you tough. Alright. I know everyone is watching, but try not to be nervous. Oh not to man. Worry. Be sharp. That is how it's done. Okay, we're gonna have to tie this. That's alright. We're gonna have to tie this. Tiebreaker. Akio. Tiebreaker. Oh, well yeah. done. That was close. Wait a minute, how you win? I'm supposed to be the champ. Let us make this a bit more interesting, shall we? <laughs> I think we are well past interesting at this point. I'll say. Enough okay. chatter. Focus now. You will need it. All right, ladies first. This round oh. settles it all. Let us see this. Mm. Phew. Oh, I like this old dude. Akio. Oh! Stay focused. Shut up, old man. You 
we go. I'm here, Tom. Alright, so. Come on, come on, come on. Do not be discouraged. Be sharp. <laughs> she just definitely kicked my butt. <laughs> there we go. Uh, what happens when y'all talk crap before a match? I kill. All right, we only need to get one. There we go. We. I don't even Excellent care that it didn't go to the blue. There. All right. Congratulations, homegirl. Very good, both of you. Well done. Congratulations. <clears throat> yeah. Class is dismissed. Gather your things on the way out. Well done back there. You took the loss in stride. Didn't want to go too easy on you. Took me weeks to become proficient with Akio. Took weeks for me to get anything right when I transferred here. It gets easier, I promise. Well, it didn't take weeks for you to kick my behind. Uh, I'm glad you understand. That's good I'm to hear. Helpful. It's a lot to take in all at once. To put it lightly, I remember how I felt when I first arrived. I transferred here from Wagadu just before my fourth year. My mother received an offer to teach divination here. Before I knew it, we had left Uganda and were halfway around the world at a new school in a new country. Oh, so you rock and roll with uh, Black Panther. All right, cool. I think it's Yana, but Yana looks like is magic. This may seem an odd question, but is magic the same there as it is here? Mm, mostly, yes. But I did have to learn how to use a wand when I arrived here. Hardly anyone at Wagadu uses one. You can cast spells without a wand. Oh, yes. I find wandless magic to be much more instinctive. Not to mention quite convenient if one is without their wand. I must admit, however, that I am growing quite fond of using a wand. It seems very dramatic. Is Wagadu much bigger than Hogwarts? <laughs> Wagadu School of Magic is the largest wizarding school in the world. So yes. Bigger than I don't know why I'm thinking you got it. It never seemed intimidating or overwhelming to me. It always felt like home. Is Wagadu a castle like, like Hogwarts? Its address is Mountains of the Moon. It is not so much a castle as a beautiful edifice carved out of the mountainside. I remember the first time I saw it, the mist was so thick I could hardly make out anything at all. And then it just materialized before me, this enormous school that seemed to be floating in midair. Yeah, thank you for telling me about it. It's, it's nice to cool. learn about another wizarding school. Thank you for asking. I do miss Wagadu, but I am glad to be here at Hogwarts. Ah, I think Professor Ronan wants to talk Wagadu to you. Wonder Wagadu and Zanadu are any related. Until next time. Of course, you can use Akio on humans, if you're so inclined. Well, you'd be using it on clothing, to be precise, Bastion. You know it won't work on humans. A word, if you would. Uh. You wanted to speak with me, Professor? I did. I trust your first charms lesson lived up to expectation? Well... An outdoor competition wasn't exactly the lesson I was expecting, sir. What charm is there in the expected? Miss Onai is a talented witch. 
take it in stride. One often gains the most from the battles one has lost. Of course, Professor. It was a challenging match. Miss Unai is always a fierce competitor, though I sense that she is a bit distracted of late. <clears throat> now, Professor Weasley has asked that your professors give you instruction outside of the ordinary curriculum. Expect to hear from me soon regarding a special assignment that I am preparing for you. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna take a station break. I will be right back after these messages. All right, I'm back, people. Let's see. Got to figure out how we do a save here. Setting. Slot. All right. Let me also. Oh no, that is not what I want to do. You're not currently tracking anything. I can remember how to get back into my quest log. Oh, okay. Neat. Let's do that later. Revelio. Alright, that's Revelio. Side quests are now available. Can be found in regions of Hogwarts. My death, blah blah, and discovered by exploring the world. These quests reward XP, but do not advance the main story. Alright. Astronomy wing. All right, well, we at least want to be able to walk it out of here. So let's see. Too far hey enough there. in the story. You're the new student, aren't you? Yeah, who are you? Hello. You wanted to speak to me. Samantha Dale. I've been eager to meet you. You're the student everyone's been whispering about. Hope your first day is going well. You certainly seem to hold your own in charms. <laughs> I've been fortunate. Beginner's luck. My brother William would tell you not to be so humble and to trust your abilities. Then again, he tends to be overconfident in his. Well, better see to my charms homework. I'm afraid I can't count on beginner's luck to impress Professor Ronan. I do then. I guess we go down this way. Get me my broom and my wand. I 
turn into wolves. Yes. What about the room, Professor? I was thinking the same thing, Deke. Perhaps you could help. Oh, uh, excuse, Deke. Ah, there you are. I trust your first classes went well? They did, Professor. I heard as much from Professors Hecate and Ronan. Seems Professor Fig taught you quite a bit during your brief detour near... What was it you said? Some ruins? I'd wager there's a good deal more to your travels here than what you've told me. Isn't there? Have you and Professor Fig not discussed my training? He continues to be reticent about the details. Mentioning only a few spells. Revelio, was it? And Lumos? That's correct, Professor. I see. Like trying to get a sonnet from a streeler. Regardless, you must continue to build upon what you've learned. In that regard, I've asked your professors to help hasten your progress with some extra assignments. Professor Ronan did mention something about that. In fact, Professor Ronan will meet you outside momentarily to assign your first one. Now, regarding the trip to Hogsmeade I mentioned earlier, we've arranged to replace the supplies lost on your way here, including seeds, potion recipes and spell crafts. Thank you, Professor. And Mr Ollivander will connect you with the perfect wand. You've managed your classes well with a borrowed wand, but you'll find the magic you cast with your own wand to be far superior. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. Very well. I'd Let's like you to make your more first visit to, to the village with a classmate. Help you get your bearings. Perhaps Sebastian Sallow or Natsai Onai. I've noticed you spending time with them. Mm. Oh, Natty. I'd like to go with Natty. Excellent choice. Miss Onai is one of our most talented students. And she knows the area. She'll keep you well clear of any of Victor Rookwood's undesirables en route. Rookwood? A rather unsavoury local. Best to avoid him and his associates, including his right hand of sorts, Theophilus Harlow, if you can. Once you've finished Professor Ronan's assignment, your friend will meet you at the castle doors. No time to waste. The sooner you complete your work, the sooner you can enjoy a butterbeer at the Three Broomsticks. So Ronan. Off on another adventure, are we? Revelio. I don't got out of you this.
Oh well, <clears throat> I'll mess with that later. Oh, wait a minute, this thing disappeared? No, it's still there. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. Well, you're welcome. Thank you for that knowledge. Where do I go? Okay, so I go that way. Are you Professor Rowan? Oh, yeah. Ah, there you are. I'm horrible with names. What do you want, dude? Why are you sending for me again? You have a new spell to teach me, Professor. Indeed I do, and an exceedingly useful one at that. The mending charm, Reparo. Fixes things right up, makes a broken object good as new in the blink of an eye. Hmm. It seems as if that might come in handy. More frequently than one would imagine. As Professor Weasley mentioned, I am not the only one who will be teaching you spells outside of class in an effort to catch you up with your peers. A number of your professors have agreed to do so as well, but first, each shall ask that you complete a few preliminary tasks to hone your magic. I have arranged some for today. See them through and then report back to me. We will have you casting Rapero in no time. I'll start on the task right away, Professor. Like blind cage near the broken statue. This is the right area. I wonder where the flying page is. Revelio. What do I have to buy? Yeah, well, you're glowing. But that's not the broken statue. Revelio. You are the broken statue. But I don't. Oh, I can't climb over there. Hmm. Levioso. There we go. Good guess. <clears throat> Revelio. Oh, you just gonna fly around, ain't you? Levioso. Yeah, because this is like a lot of fun. Go right down here. Revelio.
Yeah, I'm already at my destination. Levioso. Well, what I'm supposed to shoot you? Levioso. Hi, man. Let me see you guys. Professor, why must I complete these tasks? They are meant to give you first hand experience as you proceed to master new bits of magic. Good luck, and I shall see you soon. No, they are meant to annoy me. Ah, you know what I'm using Accio. wrong. Yeah. There we go. Got it. That's the one I'm meant to do. That's the one I'm meant to do. Collect flying page. Okay, I collected the flying. Oh, am I supposed to? Collect flying page in the defense against dark art. Missing it. Professor. Why must I complete these tasks? They are meant to give you first-hand experience as you proceed to master new bits of magic. Good luck, and I shall see you soon. Revelio. Oh my god. <sighs> the Fountain of Transconfiguration Courtyard has... Lightness of the wyvern on top serves as a relaxing place for students to gather. I don't feel very relaxed. Despite the rumors, to the contrary, possibly started by Sir Catagon. This is most assuredly not the, meant to be the wyvern of Y slain by... The lively knight in spite of himself, okay. Revelio. Alright, I guess I'm... Flying page must be around here somewhere. Revelio. Levioso. Yeah, you're glowing. Akio. Brilliant. Give me that. Great. Could run around the entire school looking for pages. So exciting. <clears throat> Man. Right, I man. trust the preliminary tasks weren't too much trouble. No, they were pain in the butt. They were complete and total pain in the butt. I hate being sent on errands. And I even hate more questing. I want to get to the fun stuff. Let's get to the fun stuff. Hurry up. I completed the assignments, Professor. Marvelous. You clearly know your way around basic charms. Let us give the old mending charm a try then, shall we? Remember to be deliberate in your enunciation and movements. 
I want to see some vigor. Now, wand at the ready. Yes, sir. Remember, your wand is a conduit of your magic. that for a spell. That's it. Very good. If you would like to practice mending something, have a go with that broken statue in the alcove by the water. It allegedly symbolized heartbreak. Perhaps a jilted lover thought it too accurate and lashed out. I like how the audio comes in based on where you're standing you can hear like either one ear or the other all right so repairer repair nicely done works like a charm doesn't it <laughs> well, let's see what we put together Watch. he looks like he's making that face that women make on their wedding day like oh my god I can't believe I just got married Alright. Let's set it, dude. It's currently track us a quest. Yeah, 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 whatever. Track the quest. Well, definitely did a pretty good job, uh, so far, making you feel like you're playing one of those MMOs. I give them points on that. I've learned almost all of the goblin with Ugh, What am I missing? Definitely get good points on that. Now I'm gonna be humming that tune too. Thanks, my dude. Thanks. What's up, homegirl? Hello. Looking for me? Hell yeah. Let's hold. Lassie, I, I haven't kept you waiting long. Not at all. Professor Weasley tells me that you need to go to Hogsbeat. You must be eager to have your own things again. And to see the village. I've been looking forward to it. Good. Shall we set off? I intend to give you a first-rate Hogsmeade experience. That's what I'm talking about. Give me the Hogsmeade experience. First order business, pizza place. Pizza place. I was glad Professor Weasley asked me to accompany you. Really? Yes. I had planned to extend an invitation to you myself. I, I thought you might enjoy a butterbee in the village. <laughs> the timing of Professor Weasley's owl was perfect. Alright, we're getting to the open world oh, part. I cannot tell you how nice it is to breathe fresh air after being cooped up in ancient runes. Grave mistake to take it as an elective class, believe me. I believe you. Though I suppose you would not really call it elective when your mother was the one who elected that you take it. Hogsmeade is beautiful this time of year. Everyone will tell you to visit at Christmas, but that's one of the few times of year I would rather be indoors. 
<laughs> not much for the cold, are you? Oh, I do not mind the cold so much, but it has taken some getting used to. I did not grow up around snow. Oh, wait, over here. I often spot lacewing flies in this area. Oh? What's so special about them? They are interesting to look at. But if you stew them, you can also use them in potion making. All right. Now I am noticing a little bit of lag. Look, from the forbidden forest. Hippogriffs. I wonder if something startled them. I heard rumors cool. that hippogriffs had been spotted nearby. Do you think Poppy's already seen the hippogriffs? Absolutely. Yeah, I am noticing a little bit of lag, but I don't know if that's because I'm that's running That's the forbidden forest on the left. It's off limits to students, <laughs> as the name implies. Why is it off limits? The professors claim it is too dangerous. I think that calling it forbidden only makes it more alluring. Ah, there's Hogsmeade over the crest. Past that ruin. Ew, yeah. A little bit of texture rebaking. I would rebaking. spend all of my time exploring if I could. I confess I was surprised when Professor Weasley mentioned that you knew the area, since you're relatively new here. She said that? Mm. What's up, evil? She knows more about me than I had thought. I, will I wonder what would happen if I'd have ran well, into that. I certainly learn a great deal in class. Much can be gleaned outside of the castle walls. How are you settling in? I remember the weeks that followed my arrival feeling quite strange. Everything was so new and unfamiliar. I'm getting used to things. What about you? Do you finally feel settled? I still miss my homeland, but it is beautiful here too. And getting out of the castle and exploring helped me to adjust quite a bit. Hogwarts has become something of a home now, I would say. Hopefully it will for you too. Mr. Moon! He is the Hogwarts caretaker. Looks a bit worse for wear. Hello, Mr. Moon. Have you met our new fifth year? Pleasure. Um, you might want to turn back, Miss on I. Uh, turn and... Run. Is everything all right, sir? Oh, it looked right at me. Eyes big as saucers. Huh? What did Mr. Moon? Jemmy, guys, ugly and airy and mm, terrifying. I shall be at the castle where it's safe. Good luck to both of you. Mm -hmm. Poor hey. Mr. Moon. Mm. A Demi, guys. I think he had too much fun in the village. I will say that I have never seen him in such a state. Nearly there. There is much to see outside of the castle walls, not just Hogsmeade. I am happy to explore whenever you'd like. Rumors being what they are about goblins and such, it might be nice to have a friend with you. I'll keep that in mind, Natty. Thank you. And here we are. It is hard to know where to start. The Three Broomsticks is the place for butter beer. And you can get any sweet you can imagine at Honey Dukes. I could not choose a favorite shop here. It changes with every visit. I can tell you that you are certain to find everything you need in Hogsmeade. Professor Weasley said that you need to get potion recipes, spellcraft, some seeds, and... A new wand. Of course. You will enjoy Mr. Ollivander, and I am keen to see what you will do with a wand of your own. You should be able to collect everything you need and still have time to explore a little as well. Experience Hogsmeade at your own pace. We can meet up in the town circle when you are finished. Enjoy yourself. I will see you soon. Well, damn, girl, I thought you was going to take me to the pizza place. I told you before we left, pizza shop, the pizza dude is the first order of business. I swear, nobody listens. You know, and I kept thinking, you know, her name Natty, actually, I don't know why, but the name Laddie, 
pops in my head, which I think was the name of the little kid in uh, The Lost Boys. Little vampire kid, Eddie Monster. That kid. Anybody who ever seen that movie? That, for some reason, keeps popping in my head. Alright, so let's see here. Uh, let's open map. Brimming with different sites and other points of interest that you can navigate using your field guide map. Okay, well, let's navigate. A wizard gear. Emporium. Brood and Peck. Pip is top operator. What do you need? Alright, so why are you pointing that direction? I should probably be Where's my wand? So we got to get our wand. This homegirl left me to my own devices. We're gonna have to hunt down the pizza shop. But we're gonna go on and get all our stuff, and then we're gonna go get the pizza. Because pizza is very, very important. I, I could invent a new potion, something indispensable. I'd be set for life. What's up, my dude? Alright, so maybe I need to come over here. Back. Oh, I just took your money. I'm a shoplifter now. Well, I guess I'm in the wrong spot because obviously I would have had some. So, what is it? Oh, I can drink tea. But that kind of sucks. I can't stay drinking tea. Yeah. Alright, we gotta blow this popsicle stand. This isn't the right spot. Alright, let's see. You know, let's just visit tombs and scrolls. Let's go find that. Just do what we're told in the game. How about that? You know, it's a good start. Okay. Oh, man. oh, what's up, homegirl? I thought you was gonna go do your thing. Are you over here. I guess you just gonna stand there. Okay, well, you just stand there. Don't be afraid to fail. I'm still gonna get the pizza. Still gonna get the pizza. I'm still gonna get the pizza. And you can't have none. I'm still gonna get the pizza. I'm still gonna get the pizza. I'm still gonna get the pizza. And you can't have none. An inquiring mind. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the spellcrafts Professor Weasley ordered. Matilda, student. I thought I might be seeing you soon. I am the proprietor here. Thomas Brown. I take it you've had a conjuring lesson, then? I'm afraid I haven't yet, sir. Ah, uh, but you will soon enough. It is magic at its purest, creating something out of nothing. Of course, it is not without complexity, but that is where my spellcrafts come in. Stay the course, 
And you could soon impress even Professor Weasley. That's certainly something to aspire to, Mr. Brown. I look forward to that day. And I, too, see in it. Spellcrafts are incredibly useful for conjuring unique items like custom pieces of furniture or decoration. But I shall let Professor Weasley do the teaching. For now, let's get the spellcrafts you need. A potting table and a potion station, yes? I believe so, sir. Good. Nothing like being able to grow your own ingredients and brew what you want, when you want. Let's have a look. Let's look at what we have, shall we? Oh man, I gotta pay for this stuff? Oh good, I don't have to pay for it. Awesome. Small potion station, spellcraft, dining table with small pot. If you're interested, uh, feel free to take a look around at the rest of my inventory. No, I'm good. Thanks, homie. I, I, I'm, thank you, brother, but I'm, I'm all right. I'm all right. I'm all right, man. I'm good. We're good. Yeah. I take the free stuff, but but we know I ain't trying to I ain't trying to spend no money now. Charms is the only class I can stay awake for. Let's see. It's cool to the next spot. Genuinely questionable as to whether the man that holds it. I ain't trying to spend no money. I need to save that for money. I ain't trying to spend no money. I need it for honey. Get in there, man. Come on. Blooming beard. Not again. I'll be right with... Ah, it's you. Um, just a moment, please. Uh, mm. Hello, sir. I'm looking for... For a new wand, yes. It's about time. Yes, uh, about time. Well, you're our new fifth-year student, are you not? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you are. Gerbold Ollivander's the name. But of course, you'll have heard of the Ollivanders, I'm sure. Finest wand makers in the world. It's a pleasure to meet you, truly. Now, come with me. Let's find you the perfect wand, shall we? Hmm, uh, no, 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 not you. Um, ah, yes, yes. Hmm, powerful core, ten and a half inches. Hmm, you might do. Here, give this one a try. Well, go ahead, swish. Hmm, how odd. Uh, once more, come on, really swish it. Oh dear. Well, this isn't a good match at all, is it? <laughs> uh, um. We'll find you something, not to worry. Mm. No, not you. Uh, ah, mm. Perhaps. Yes. A really <clears throat> good 13 and 3 quarter inches dragon heart string. Let's give this one a try. Mm. Oh, 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 goodness. Oh. Looks like it's back to the shelf for you. Uh, this is proving to be trickier than I had anticipated. How perplexing. Um, where are you? Perhaps you? Uh, ah, there you are. Yes, I think you might be the one. 
Here. Take it. Mm. I wonder if this is the one that they gave me in my fan shop one. Really, can I screenshot this on Steam? There we go. We'll compare that later. Notched warm brown holly dragon heartstrings. Lightly springy, 13 inches. What is this? That variation? And then it's feather. Yeah, we're gonna purchase it. That's it. What do you think? Extraordinary. <laughs> another wand, another beginning of a bright and magical future. <laughs> now, how did that feel? Good. Different. I sensed a sort of surge of some kind. A match. Your connection seemed particularly powerful. The right wand will learn from you, just as you learn from it. I'm eager to try it out. I would imagine so. A wand with a dragon heartstring core is capable of dazzling magic. And the bond between you and your wand should only grow stronger. Do not be surprised at your new wand's ability to perceive your intentions, particularly in a moment of need. That sounds wonderful, Mr. Ollivander. I'll let you get to it. Do come and see me again, if ever I can be of further assistance. Alright. <clears throat> awesome, thank you, my dude. Pippin's potions. Time to go to Pippin's potions. Got my own dang one. I don't need nobody else's one. Excuse me, man. Welcome to J. Pippin's Potions. What's up, man? Give me some drugs. Pardon me, sir. Oh, thank goodness. When I heard the bell, I thought I'm you were Miss Lawang. Not that, that. No, that she deigns to come here. Though, I don't believe I've seen your face here before, either. It's my first time in Hogsmeade, actually. Is it really? Well, Parry Pippin at your service. And this is J. Pippin's Potions. Potions for all ailments. <laughs> You'll have read it on the sign, of course, but Grandfather always made me say it in full. <laughs> How may I help you today? Professor Weasley sent me to collect some recipes. I'm new at Hogwarts. You're the student she sent the owl about. I set your things aside immediately. I suspected if you're anything like I was at your age, you'd want your potion supplies. Is it not the most fascinating art potion making? Rivals anything you can do with a wand, I've always said. Are potions really that versatile? They may not be as showy as spell work, but make no mistake, they are just as powerful. They can heal, destroy, protect. You'll discover all of this soon enough. As it's your first time in, I should mention that it's not just potion recipes I sell. I also offer ready-made drafts for all manner of uses, and... I unveil new ones from time to time. Pop in when you can so you don't uh, miss out on anything. Hmm? But for now, 
Let's get you those recipes, shall we? What can I do for you today? Feel free to take a look at the rest of my inventory, or come back another time if you're in a rush today. Now I'm broke. I'm broke. Visit the Magic Neap. Oh, this is the place where the brooms are. Which way does it tell us to go? We gotta go that way? No, it says go this way. Well, hello there. What's up, my man? Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the seeds Professor Weasley arranged for me to collect. Ah, oh, the Dittany for the new fifth year. <laughs> I take it that's you, then. Merlin's beard. Starting Hogwarts is a fifth year. You must be positively reeling from it all. Not at all. I'm choosing to see it all as one big adventure. Well, bravo. Not everyone has the temperament to take things as they come. Name's Timothy Teasdale, by the way, and this is my shop, the Magic Neap. I keep the cart out here because I like a good chat. Can't very well be in the thick of things if I'm hidden away inside now, can I? I suppose not. In addition to seeds, I have plenty of plants. Grow everything myself. My speciality is potion ingredients. Even Pippin purchases from me. But what say we get you a packet of Dittany seeds? Let me guess. You're after something fresh. Do have a look around. Plenty of ingredients to pique your interest, I'd wager. Nope. <coughs> None of it does. Well, that's everything. Better go and find Natty. Yeah, it's not everything because... It didn't have my broom. But holy oaks. Let's save the game. There we go. Meet Natty at the town circle. Natty who didn't take me to the pizza place, so she can't have none of my pizza. And Natty, who didn't help me find the brooms. Didn't even hold my hand on a trip here. Alright. Just because I had hairy palms. What's up, Natty? Ah, I have everything. I see what you meant about not being able to pick a favorite shop. <laughs> we should walk around a bit more. Perhaps today is the day I finally pick one. Alrighty then. Oh. 
Really? We're doing this? Protego! Repairer! Expelliarmus! Well, I did. Leviosa! Are we weakening him at all? Keep at it! We have to wear him down! Protego! Wow, really? What was that? I was trying to be. I like it. Do more of it. Alrighty then. Quest spell, your journey has ended. Yeah, okay. Guess we try again. I was not expecting combat in the middle of my shopping trip. How rude. All I wanted was some damn pizza. <laughs> oh my god. So it looks like I'm freezing up, guys. I may be calling it here at this point. Uh, yeah, that's... I'm gonna do a save. Alright. Uh, now I seem to be somewhat sorted out. Let's try this again. Ah, I have everything. I see what you meant about not being able to pick a favorite shop. <laughs> we should walk around a bit more. Perhaps today is the day I finally pick one. Are we weakening him at all? Keep at it! We have to wear him down! Arrest him and let me Wow. Potato! Well, these spells totally suck. Ah, uh, okay. 
I loot shields up several times. Yeah, whatever, man. Whatever. Let's see where we load in at. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Okay, so I think I'm going to call it here for the moment because I've got the sun beaming directly into my eyes and I'm having to like lean off to the side while trying to play this game. So I'm actually going to continue this battle in the next video while the sun is not beaming directly in my face hole. Anyway, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe. Take care. Stay safe, everybody.